Good morning, guys. It's your girl, Mocha Michelle, and I'm back with another video. Today is Saturday. It is about 9 a.m., and I'm about to make me some coffee first things first, because what is the day without coffee? And I don't got time for Dunkin' Donuts to be upsetting me this morning, okay? I want me a nice cup of coffee, and the only way to have a nice cup of coffee is if I make it myself, all right? But I'm about to go get the girls. They stayed with their dad last night. Um, it's gonna be a little lopsided because I don't have my phone propped up properly. But yeah, they stayed with their dad last night. And it's, I had a couple of things to do today. I thought I was taking my son to the grocery store, but he's at work, so he can't go to the grocery store right now. I guess he's gonna go with his friend later. And then um, I was planning on taking the girls to five below, like all of the girls. But Lily is not home. Lily is at her friend's house, so that's not gonna work. But I already told Milani that we was going and y'all know how Milani is, so we have to go, okay? So I think I'm gonna end up going to five below twice. I'm going to go with Milani and Taylor. And then I'm trying to find the top to my coffee cups. I'm going to go with Milani and Taylor. And then I guess maybe Sunday I will go again. All right. I told my kid's father that I was leaving. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to clean my, um, my nose ring. And then I'm out the door. But it's true. It's true. I just had to make my coffee. And I'm about to be out of the door. And Milani wants breakfast, but I'm, I don't think... I got to see what I'm going to do. All right, y'all. Let's make this coffee really quickly. I got this mason jar from Dollar Tree, by the way. I did. I'm not going to put too much care on this. I am putting in the sweet coffee creamer. So. That's how you know I got an addiction, y'all. I have to put the coffee in the mason jar. I was not gonna just not have coffee today, okay? I'm about to stir it a little bit. See the caramel drizzling. Let me get a straw, where my straw is? My kitchen is a mess, y'all. Um, it ain't even a mess. I just got like a lot going on. But when I get home, I'm about to clean the girls' room and straighten up the kitchen. Let me take some chicken out today because I'm about to fry some chicken wings for them. And then tomorrow, when I come home in the morning, I'm going to... um. I'm gonna grab like some stuff to make a big ziti tomorrow and some stuff to make breakfast tomorrow. So this is my coffee on the road. I don't have nails on. Oh, I gotta go get beads. It's a couple of things I gotta do with the kids today. I think I'm going to the hair store to pick up some beads and then um, five below beads, something to eat at home. Because before you know it, it's gonna be five o'clock watch it be nice outside and i got this heavy coat on watch 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 and i need to unpack my shoes because i just be wearing the same shoes over and over like i ain't got no shoes and all my shoes are in the box upstairs i do that with clothes too I wear the same clothes over and over. Like I ain't got no clothes. You know? I think that happens when you get older. You just stop trying. For real. I'm gonna see how when I get in my car. And then I shouldn't have a coat like this with little babies because you gotta hold the baby. By that you be ready to take the coat off. But it is my favorite color. That's what attracted me to it first and then I just like the material um 
and it's warm. You know, it was really cold when I bought this boat. So I felt like that was something that I needed to do. But I think I'm gonna do like a um, Walmart delivery or something. I don't know. I don't know. I know for sure I'm going to Five Below and to the hair store. I gotta take them beads out. Oh, what time is it? It's 9.30. I think I should stop at the hair store before I get them. Yes, I am. I'm not taking them with me to the hair store. That's one thing out of the way. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to really do everything that I needed to do before I got them. Um, and then just take them to Five Below or whatever and then home. That was a plan, but my kid's father he's gonna go in for work at 10 30 he just decided this morning that he wanted to pick up so y'all know how that shit go i ain't even gonna say nothing but okay i'll be there i'll be there i'm trying to i'm gonna drink my coffee i mean you know what i just gotta get a top off of it because it ain't gonna spill um of course the light will turn green while i'm trying to get my shit together See how life is? Um, I'm just going to smell like coffee this morning if it spills. And it's good, too. Um, yeah, y'all saw my crazy family on Thanksgiving. <laughs> we had a ball, yo. We have to do stuff like that more often. Like, that. I love the holidays. I swear I do. I didn't vlog last Thanksgiving. I was still kind of like being shy. But from last year to now, I feel like I opened up a lot with y'all. I did. I got like real raw with y'all. And honestly, that's when I started to get like close to people. So, I mean, that wasn't a bad thing that I did that. But yeah, my family is crazy. And that, um, that argument that y'all heard in the background was all like jokes. That wasn't even a real argument. They're annoying and they like to annoy each other when they start drinking. But it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. I keep thinking about it and laughing in my head because they're crazy. My kids is like, what is going on? Like, We're supposed to go over there around Christmas. Christmas Eve or Christmas. I ain't really trying to leave the house on Christmas supposed to go over there Christmas Eve in our pajamas and stuff and do like a um my mom calls it a grab bag it is what do you call it um you know when you pick the names and um, you pick the the person secret Santa that's what it is secret Santa that's what we want to do but secret Santa needed to be picked on Thanksgiving like my family is <laughs> being so last minute that's it you don't pick a secret Santa a week before Christmas so I don't know. I got some stuff from my uncle anyway that I got to order already in my cart. So he got his gift from me regardless. That's my boy. I love him to death. My mom had asked me to stay there late. Well, she didn't say stay late, but she was asking me to stay until she got back. But she ended up getting back too late and I had to leave because I had to go get the kids ready for bed and stuff. You know, like I can't be hanging out with them. Um... But I felt really bad when I had to leave my uncle. I always feel bad when I have to leave my uncle by himself. I don't like to leave him by himself. I know I can't be there all the time, but I just be feeling bad when I got to leave. Or if I tell him I'm coming over and then something happens and I can't make it, I, it makes me feel bad. You know, because I feel like I let him down. But I be doing everything, man. I'm trying to like... I know I'm going back and forth with the whole apartment stuff and the moving and the not moving and the moving and the not moving. Truth is, I just want to sit and get comfortable and try to get comfortable, but, and accept the apartment for what it is. And that's what I'm trying to do. But every time I do that, it's just something else is wrong. Like my batteries is beeping from my smoke detector. I ain't been there 45 days. Why is the batteries beeping? Of course the batteries is beeping because they never changed them. They never changed anything. They never changed my locks. How I could tell that my locks are not changed from the last people that lived there. You could look at the lock. It's old. And it's falling apart. Like, somebody could literally kick my door in right now if they wanted to. That's how unsecure my lock is. And 
I know I should go to the rental office and ride down on their asses, but who got time for that? Y'all see how chaotic my life is. Like, I don't got time to be running down on no um, people for doing stuff that was supposed to be done. I did that the first week I moved in my apartment, and they just stopped coming to my apartment. Um, my toilet, I thought... The toilet upstairs has always been fucked up from day one. You can tell when you flush it. It just seemed like it just can't handle shit. You know, like it unhandled enough shit in life. It can't handle no more nobody else's shit, literally. So now it's running and we can't even flush it or use it, right? So I think it, I thought it was me. I'm like, let me go, lady, 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 pick your speed up. I'm like, let me go get a plunger. Got a plunger. Babe went the plunger in today. It's like, nah, the toilet, the thing inside the toilet is not even lifting up. That's supposed to go up every time you flush it and it's not going up. So your toilet is messed up. It's not, it's not you, you know, it's not nothing y'all did. It's the toilet. Now, if I didn't have a man around, I wouldn't know that, but, um, I didn't know that. So again, now the toilet is messed up. We're back. We're back going back downstairs to use the bathroom in the morning like we were when we first moved there. I don't know if y'all remember if y'all was watching the videos, but I had to do that for like a week until they came and fixed the damn toilet. I don't like maintenance. I mean, I know maintenance is supposed to come in your house, you know, to fix things periodically. I never liked maintenance in my house too much back to back when I don't move my shit in there. Fixing things that should have been fixed before my stuff came in there. So now it got to inconvenience me. I got to move stuff out of the way. I got to cover stuff because my furniture is now in there, you know? I don't like stuff like that. So I will like not want to call maintenance or just, you know, try to eat it or try to fix it myself because that's annoying. Trying to keep Taylor out of the way and this and that. And I don't let them come in my house when I'm not home because they just leave your door open, walk through your house with shoes on. They do whatever they want to when you're not there. And I don't like that. You're not going to do what y'all want in my house, so... When it come down to riding on them, I ain't got time for I just don't have time for that. I have other stuff I'm dealing with. I work. I, you know, kids' school, like, medical appointments, birth to three. Like, I got a lot going on. I don't have time to run down on somebody for something that should have been done. Now, you can run down on somebody for something that breaks after you move in. You did or something. But stuff that should have been done before I turned the key in that apartment, I'm not, I don't got it to do with y'all. I don't. So... You know, I say that I'm not going to move or whatever, but I still be looking for apartments and I still be like seeing what's out there and seeing if I could catch something or whatever. Um, I do know you do have to drive around. A lot of stuff ain't posted online. A lot of stuff ain't posted online. Um, so you do have to... Dag, I missed my freaking turn. Talking to y'all. You do have to... Um, you do have to drive around if you want to look for somewhere to move but i don't think i'm gonna stay there because the thought of staying there and riding that year out just thinking about how many things is gonna go wrong in that house scares me it scares me is this a one way like i can't do A person shouldn't have to fix that many things. They, they should not have to fix that many things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, oh, yeah, this is a dead end. Yeah, they shouldn't have to fix that many things. And I feel like I've been played. I can't shake the feeling that I've been played, you know? So, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to move somewhere after Christmas, probably, you know? If y'all see me suddenly saying I'm moving, that's why I just can't. I can't with that apartment. I don't like cleaning. I don't like cooking. I don't like doing a goddamn thing in there. I don't. Time to cover the coffee because I got to get ready to run in this hair store. Before my baby father called me like, where the fuck are you? You about to go to work five minutes after your kids leave. Just like I have to deal with them right before I go to work. You got to deal with them right before you go to work today, too. You do. It's 943, so I'll be there by 10.
I just found out at 8.30 that he wanted to be to work for 10, 10.30. I think I'm doing pretty good with timing, regardless of the fact. Regardless of the fact, I think I'm doing great with timing, guys. I'm only running in here to get some beads. Um, I do have braid in here at home from Malia. I was going to do crochet in her hair, but I thought I did that heavy-ass crochet in my hair. I ain't feeling doing no goddamn crochet in nobody here. So, we... I ain't got time for these crackheads. Y'all about to, um... Y'all about to walk with me because I ain't got time for the crackheads. I really don't. Not today. See, I look like a rich bitch, but I'm not. I'm really not. I'm poor. Hey, yes. Hello. Thank you. She wanted purple. I think I'll do something with these. Um, I said, oh, I'm gonna do beats for Taylor's hair. And it's 9 50, so I'm still doing good with time because I didn't came out of the um hair store. Um, he lives like maybe 10 minutes or less away from the hair store. And yeah, I grabbed them by 10. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That was a serious size blind spot. I did not, I looked in my mirror, did not see him. Did not see him. Oh, that's where one of them apartments was at for rent. I would not move. Oh, it's some nice houses down there. That's why. That's why the houses is nice. The apartments is nice, but I wouldn't move on that street. Have you thought my kids couldn't play outside where I lived before? <laughs> they definitely can't play outside over here. I wish I was rich. I would buy Jamaican food every day. <coughs> oh, baby daddy follow me. This wasn't about to even turn into no talking video, but I just been talking all fucking day, I guess. So. Hopefully I don't take up the whole video talking, but he just really pissed me off because he's talking about how far away am I? I'm like, I'm like five minutes away. First of all, I'm not running late. And if I'm wrong, let me know. Let me know. Because you told me at 8.30 this morning, as soon as I opened my eyes, that you wanted to go to work for 10. I then got up, started to get myself situated, you know, wash my ass, make my bed, do everything that I needed to do. But I still felt like I moved pretty quick with it. I wasn't slow poking this morning. Um, it's, it's damn near 10 o'clock and I'm about to be at your house. I had an hour probably to myself to get myself situated in the shower and get dressed and all that stuff. Um, I'm not going to not take a shower because if I don't take a shower, it's going to be hard for me to take a shower with both of the girls home and Lily's not home. So that's going to be hard for me to do. And I'm not trying to struggle to do that. The least I could get is a nice shower. Um, so I'm like, if you want to, you go put their coats on. He's like, I'm not about to put their coats on. It's mad hot in here. I'm like, well, you need to turn your heat down. And he's like, I'll see you when you get here. Okay. Like. How the hell does that make you angry? Like, you're mad angry. I'm not even, like, joking around or playing or nothing. But I just don't feel like you should just be that. I don't feel like you should be that angry. Honestly. Am I not moving fast enough for you? I don't live in the same town anymore. I did have to jump on a highway. So what? I stopped to get beads. I was literally in and out of the store two minutes. So what? And it's to braid his daughter's hair. Okay? So, um... Just turn me off with that fucking Debbie Downer attitude. Like, fucking get no attitude with me because 
I'm not moving fast enough for you to get your kids when you just told me this morning that I had to get your kids this morning. That That's the stuff that I have to go through, y'all. And then when I act out or I got something to say, I'm wrong. And then when I bring it to the internet, I'm wrong. Well, guess what? I vlog. So if stuff is happening in the middle of a vlog, I'm going to speak about it. If you don't want to be spoken on, then exit my life because it's my life and I speak on my life and... Yeah, just like five minutes ago, I was talking about my crazy family and that argument, how they play around when they drink. Now, that's just like them coming back to me and saying, you don't have to tell people that I drink, you know? <laughs> it's not really personal. <laughs> it's not personal. But ugh, let me hurry up and get my freaking kids, y'all, because he's just disgusting at times. If you want to pick up overtime, why did they even stay tonight? Why did they even stay the night? They could have stayed home. Every other weekend, I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to stop the overnights. But then I start feeling bad for Milani when she want to go. I'm not doing overnights with you no more. Every time I picked up the kids when they were there overnight, it was a different time. It was a different time. I'm really about to work on finding me good babysitters. And not babysitters for me to go to work. But babysitters for when I do want to go out and, and enjoy myself because I don't think I could ever go out and enjoy myself and the kids is with their dad no with with all the calling and the, no I can't do it so we're going back to um we just go back to every other weekend I'm not gonna do the overnights I'm not I'm good on it I don't I do need a break but there was times where I was it wasn't getting a break at all so it ain't gonna kill me to go back to not getting a break I don't have to find a babysitter to see my man. He's there. So, and I don't got no friends. So, <laughs> right now, a babysitter ain't really like top notch what I need, for real. I don't need it. I could train my kids to go to bed at a certain time, put them on a schedule, and have that two hours to myself before bedtime. That's, that's what I'm working on. If y'all know how to like, I know one of my subscribers was telling me that I got to get my kids on the schedule. I got to get them on the schedule last year. And even though I haven't gotten like a straight schedule, I have more structure than I did at that time. And I do see that when you do do the same thing every day and get on a routine and move at the same time, that it makes things easier for you. But I also do have an ignorant, you know, baby father that breaks that schedule and has no routine and my kids go over there and they get out of whack all over again. Let me text him and tell him to put on their coats because I'm not even for his shit right now. Uh -uh. Daddy didn't watch Taylor's face? He, watch he, he only watched your face and not Taylor's face? Why? I think so. I can tell though, I'm looking at her. Yeah. I'm going to take the wipe and wipe around her mouth. Did you brush her teeth? Did Taylor get her teeth brushed? Enough is enough already. Come on. Um, Stop walking behind me and on the side of me. I don't know why he gave me my freaking kids like this. Look at my own face. This is like a hot mess, yeah. Just 
Vegas. Spin off Vegas. My head is don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. They stay with it. I'm okay with it. It's when they come to me, they'll play with it. I mean, yeah, that's something that I stay with. The brothers, they ain't really nothing to play with. Steady chatting when I ran down, she ain't say My head is gon' bang quick. Fuck around and get dangerous. Set my bimbo. To my tempo. Toes, no one ain't playing games on no Xbox, Nintendo. Real, no force. I stand on it, that's Sento. Pulled up with the big body with the dog tents on the window. He says she sucks sweet. They don't wanna let her ride by. Let them take the then I keep got my right after. Got these niggas vex, cause I curve them when I want. Get his wig, push back if the nigga try to fall. Maybe I should do black though. Walk me. I love tan stuff. I need to yeah, stop. Like tan or black, y'all. Tan or black. Where's your other hat? Your original hat that I bought you. No, that one. Exactly. If y'all don't know, Bella loves Eminem. She's trying to get me to open them. She's even getting rid of her Spider-Man thingy. But these are just the ones we found. But these is with a real. These are her favorite. The almond ones. This is what you ready. This is what you ready. She likes the almond one. And she likes the peanut one. Look at her. She like, I don't want this no more. Look at her. Look at her. Gimme. <laughs> Let me have it. She said I want I'm gonna follow you. Wait a minute. She said I want my MMs. Look at her. I love it. You want open? Open? Yeah, open. Okay, let me open. Don't judge me. They ain't had breakfast, y'all. They ain't had breakfast, but she love her Eminem, so. I'm ready to get out of here at this point. Let me see. You don't want that one? Then look. Y'all, look at these earhead bites. Somebody get me some little candies from over here when I'm done dealing with them. And then we about to get out of here. This was overwhelming. I'm ready to go. All I got was my Bluetooth speaker. And I swear if it's not loud, I'm returning it. Yeah. I got me a beanie. I got some socks. I got them lights for Milani's room. That mug. So, yeah, I'm ready to get up out of here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little aggravated. Um, I just realized I forgot to take my chicken out of the freezer because that's what I'm supposed to be making for dinner. And it should, you know, be thawing early. It should be thawing early and I didn't take it out because my kid's father was freaking rushing me. Now I'm agitated because like I, I'm not going to order food tonight. I need to cook. God. I might have grabbed gas and just um, go to Dunkin' and get on the highway and go home. I need to get home. I really do. I bought a speaker, y'all. It was $15. I'm hoping it's louder than, look at her just walking, not caring if cars is coming or not. Um, I hope it's louder than the one I got because I like to play music. Like, I'm going to play music today and um, clean or whatever. That's why I need to start vlogging from the camera or whatever. Because at least I can still listen to my music and... I can still listen to my music and vlog and just cut it out. Instead of just not listening to anything at all. So, yeah. I hate Five Below too. They got so much stuff in there that you want and need. I'm going to put my tree up today for sure because I feel like I can't buy 
no other decorations or nothing until I see my tree up and see what I got and what I can match with it, what I want to add, take away. Like, I can't do that with everything in a box. So, I'm going to put the tree up at least today. Yes? And then, um, you know, Lily not here. She's going to be mad. She didn't get to go to five below. She's going to be mad that I put the tree up without her. But I don't know what my kids think, like, they want to go with their friends and their dads and I'm supposed to just sit here and not get anything done. Like, if that stuff is important to y'all, y'all will want to do it. Like, you know, it's tradition. I put the tree up the, the day of Thanksgiving or the day after and Thanksgiving was Thursday. Today's Saturday, so I feel like I'm behind. I need to get the tree up. That iPad killing me. Hello with what? Don't talk to me like that. Um, I feel like once I get the tree up, I'll start, you know, I need the tree to, to realize that Christmas is around the corner. Okay. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put the tree up and, um, I have found them stockings, but I had got like three pink ones and then I had two sweater ones for me and babe, but it's like, I don't even have pink ornaments for the tree yet. So I don't think I should be getting pink stockings. Right. But they're cute though for the girls. But I feel like I, I have to make sure pink is what I'm putting in a tree. I know I have the blue and clear um, bubbles from last year that I'm definitely going to use again because I really enjoy that. But I don't know if I'm going to be adding in lavender or pink. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to, I want to hold off on stockings. Um, Cyber Monday, I'm going to be purchasing a lot of my stuff. I'm already, I already got some stuff in my cart. Um, so yeah. That's my one yeah and I'm supposed to do a secret Santa with um Milani and Lily's friend's mom um but we need to get on that I just told her yesterday we need to get on that because they need to be shopping for each other now and then we need to plan a day where we're gonna do that where they're gonna exchange gifts yes huh Santa Claus? No. I'm supposed to open this last question You can open it. Um, yeah, I'm looking at these apartments. They look kind of nice. But the number is just like... Oh, you see them? They're right there. Those are just built too. So I'm pretty sure everything in here is new. Uh, like I said earlier, a lot of places ain't listed on the internet. You really just gotta ride by. That's how I found where I was living now. You just ride by, call the number. Um, and I feel like I need to do that next week. A couple days out of the week, I need to do that. Cause where I live, mm -mm. it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. If all that stuff ain't working right now, can you imagine two months from now? Honestly, can you just picture it? Helping but yeah, I'm going to go to um, the gas station and go to Dunkin' and then I'm going to see y'all when I get home. Hopefully I can take that chicken out. Um, I never sip my meat in water, but maybe I should sit it in cold water. Um... I know you're not supposed to run your meat on, under hot water, but I think I'm going to sit it in cold water to let it thaw. Um, and, and hopefully the chicken will be cleaned and cooked, you know? Because mm -mm, I need to go to the grocery store, and I'm not even trying to do that right now. So. And I, I'm waiting for my freaking bonus. I want my holiday bonus. I need that. I need the holiday bonus, honey. For real. But... <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all when I get home. Cause Taylor iPad is killing me and if I dare turn it down, it's gonna be problems. So I'm gonna let Taylor have her moment. I'm gonna listen to some music. And I'm gonna see y'all when I get home, okay? All right. All right, y'all, I made it home. My hair is a mess. I will be putting my bonnet on very soon. I am nursing Taylor, y'all know how she do. Milani wanna show y'all what she got from Five Below and then I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Five Below. And then I'm going to end the vlog and start a new one, y'all. Milani, come. Okay. 
That's what she got from Five Below, y'all. Turn it all around all the way. All right, she loves the mini brands. Um, let me see. Wait, turn it around. Let me see what this is. Turn it around. That's a, that's the Christmas calendar. You know how your grandmother bought you the 24 um, days of Christmas? Like, but you're going to open them all now. You're not going to do it one day at a time. I didn't even know that that's what that was. Okay. And what's this? A unicorn surprise. All right, stop shaking it so they can see it. Okay. That's all you got that you want to show? Yeah. Okay, open this. Go take it at, to the table. Just go to the table. Okay. All right, y'all. Taylor keep playing with this, but I got this. Comment down below if y'all could guess who's a Gemini. It's just a little tumbler. Wait a minute, Milani. I'm showing what I got now. I got this speaker. I'm about to put it to the test right now and see if it's as loud as I need it to be because I like to listen to my music. I'll unbox it with you guys. Um, my socks and my little beanie. It's supposed to be a thermal hat. Super warm because I got the little thermal inside. So, ooh, that with the wig. Oh my God. Wait a minute, Milani. I got these for Milani's wall. She claims she's going to sleep in her room if I put them on her wall and light up, but no, she's not. Um, these are my little candies. I had dumped Taylor's M&M's in this bag so she could eat them in the store, but she didn't finish them. And that's all we got. We didn't really get nothing. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you know every time I post a video and until the next one, y'all.